Oh, give it a good kick, buddy. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another beautiful day of our life in Holland here in Denver, Colorado. Turn and I have come up here to Colorado Springs. We are on his very last day of his soccer tournament. Guys, it is currently 26 degrees. Hey, if you are new to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button on today's video. Guys, these games have been insanely intense. Currently, we are winning 2-0 to a team that we have battled in games past. It is very, very intense, this tournament right now. It is 20 six degrees right now just freezing cold the coach keeps pulling the kids up off the bench getting them to warm up guys this is the last game of the day before we fly back to utah tonight hopefully we'll be able to spend a little bit more time with turn a little bit later today so far they are undefeated in this tournament and currently winning two to zero it's been a little bit since you guys have seen Lindsay and the kids so let's go over there right now and check on them hello everybody you have not seen us for a couple of days hello we're sorry we miss you we have been having a quiet weekend over here while justin and turn have been in denver having a great time having a fun soccer weekend we just kind of been taking it easy over here having a ton of fun at home just me and my three littles who aren't so little anymore yeah. we got to give you guys a few updates here last time you saw us lando was so sick as she was pretending to be so sick. Landon was truly so sick for about 24 hours. And now he is feeling 100%. Honestly, it went away so fast. We were so, so grateful. So Landon's feeling tons better. What have we been up to this weekend? Well, Ashton had his last basketball game. Played awesome. Should we go back and show them some of those clips? Yes. Let's go check those out. talking to Ashton after his basketball game, telling him that I think, first of all, basketball is his sport. He loves it, he's so good at it. The current league that he's in only has about six or seven games a year. So we're just thinking about putting him in something that might be a little bit more year round, where he can develop his basketball skills a little bit more. So, so more to come on that. Another thing that we've been up to this weekend is my sister threw a baby shower for her sister-in-law, who's having her first baby, and I got to help her with that. So fun to have sister time. Anybody who has, has a sister, knows how much fun it is to hang out with your sister. So we did a little balloon arch on Friday night. Stayed up way too late, but it was so fun. The kids kept busy while I was doing the balloon arch, making our gingerbread house. <laughs> that was something we were supposed to do at Christmas time. We never got to it. So I thought this will be fun. It's never too late, right? Christmas in almost March. They want to show you what they came up with. The house itself wasn't standing anymore. So they each decorated a piece. This is Ashton's. This is Ava's. And this is Lando's. Fun little gingerbread house making party. Saturday morning, I helped her put together a fun charcuterie board of breakfast deliciousness, which I wanna show you guys a picture of because it's such a fun idea if you're looking for something that is so easy for any type of gathering, just your family or a party in the future. On the charcuterie board, fresh bagels, cream cheeses to go with those, all sorts of fruit, which added tons of beautiful color. Of course, duck donuts. For those of you who are new here, we opened up the first franchise of Duck Donuts here in Utah, and we actually own the rights to all of Utah, so there will be many more stores to come. If there's not one near you yet, there will be in the future. They are the most delicious donuts, and they added a ton of beautiful color too. Oh, and the kids wanted me to tell you that there was sausage there too. <laughs> <laughs> all sorts of drinks. They had chocolate milks, orange juices, low fat juice milks. boxes, low fat <laughs> milks. <laughs> it was the cutest little party. So other than a whole lot of relaxing, cleaning, doing laundry, watching movies together. Today is Sunday. We went to church today. The kids actually got to get up on the stand and sing a song with sign language, which was so cool because it's been so long since we've been able to do anything like that. 
an entire year really. It made me so happy to see them up there. We are missing Turin and Justin. They are coming home tonight. We are so excited. But we're just here hanging out after church. Sundays are a relaxing day, so sometimes it's nice not to cook up anything crazy. So usually after church for lunch, we pull out whatever is in the fridge and just make something fun out of it. But today, we are trying some treats that we received from Emily in Germany. Our kids have been loving these drink packets. They are completely gone now, <laughs> right? Yeah. They're almost like a little, yeah. they're a little bit like a soda, but not fizzy, yeah. like a little fizzy drink. We've got some leftover duck donuts we're munching on. This right here is some Arizona sunshine from Papa and Grandma in Arizona. They actually planted an orange tree in their backyard, and so every winter when it is freezing cold here, they send us some Arizona sunshine from their backyard. These will all be gone in about five minutes. We are also taste testing some French treats from Robin in France. She sent us these. This is like a little buttery cake. We're so excited to try. A little mini sugared waffle. So we are gonna dig in over here. When I woke up and looked down the stairs, this is what I found happening over here. Yeah, but it was in this dress in the morning. Yeah, that's true, you were wearing that pretty dress this morning. Ash, what did you teach Ava to make? A uh, fishtail. Right? Yeah. Look, this is a fish tail. This is currently the fish tail that Ava's making for me. I chose it's the colors. Like Three different colors of pinks. And Ashley's making me one over here. I just am the luckiest ever. I've got everyone making me bracelets everywhere. Yeah, and literally, I'm almost done with mom. Three okay. different colors of blues. He just started mine. So I kind of How cute that he taught his little sister how to make a fish tail bracelet. in uh, mid-game update here. It is halftime. Curran just went to sit for a moment. We are still up two to zero. Now we've actually scored two other goals that the referees have called back, both due to offsides. Honestly, both were questionable. Regardless, two zero right now. The coach is definitely rotating kids through pretty heavily just to keep them warm. Otherwise, if they sit on the bench for too long, they all just get cold. So he's rotating them through pretty good. Beautiful facility, by the way. This facility is pretty incredible. You can tell they clearly have to plow the snow to make these fields accessible for sure. Alright guys, we came over here to the local mall to catch up with Turner and his team. Now that the tournament is over, at this point it's just kind of relax, hang out. The flight doesn't leave for like another five hours, so they're just looking for ways to kind of fill their time. So we came over here to the local mall. There's an arcade in here that they are going to hang out in it for a little bit play around, plenty of shops to walk through. In fact, something I noticed as we walked in, those little electric animals that you can ride on. And if you guys have seen some of our past videos when we go visit uh, Arizona to see Lindsay's parents, that is the one thing that they love to take our kids to go do is to ride on those electric animals around the mall because there's really nowhere in Utah that you can actually do that. So we're here at the mall, we're gonna hang out here for the next little bit and then we're gonna be off to the airport. So let's go catch up with Turin. We haven't seen him really at all, it feels like this trip. So let's go catch up with Turin and his friends right now. to the airport. I've just handed in my beautiful chariot that I've had for the last few days here in Denver. Curran is in the team bus. So I'm gonna meet him at the airport, but I had to come drop this thing off here real quick. So I've gotta say, I've never owned an electric car before, but this was a ton of fun. 
right? Now, if I were to buy an electric car, I don't know if I would necessarily choose something so loud in terms of like its color, but the Chevy Bolt, I'm impressed. You guys did a good job. I was very impressed with this vehicle. It got from point A to point B safely, efficiently. It was quick. I will say, however, this might just be the case for electric cars in general. As a rental, it's a little bit more challenging because finding a place to charge your vehicle is not nearly as accessible as just finding a simple old gas station. That was a little unexpected. It didn't seem to have the same range as like a gasoline vehicle, but if you own a car, then it's just easy to charge at night. That, that makes total sense to me. But that being said, it was a ton of fun trying something new. I had other options to rent and I chose to rent this car just because it looked kind of fun and it was fun. So anyway, off to the airport, home, here we come. back to Utah and it's as cold here as it was in Colorado. I think Colorado's slightly cold. Maybe slightly. Currently 1020. We can taste home from here everybody. We can taste home from here. Very successful soccer tournament. The entire La Roca club, all boys teams won their games. Now turn wasn't the only La Roca club here. There was all, all La Roca clubs were here ranging from all ages. Only the girls teams lost a game and I think only two games in total. So the La Roca Club was by far the most winning club here in Colorado. Here's our beautiful chariot. Now let's get in and go home. Kids, Lindsay, we're coming home. All right, you guys, we are back home finally once again. Thank you for hanging out with Turn and I in Denver, Colorado. Guys, smash the like button if you feel like this kid played absolutely amazing in these last two games. Could not be more proud of LaRocca. Could be more proud of this kid. If you guys are new to our channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe down below. Tune in for tomorrow's video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See everybody.